In this short video, we want to have a quick look at the intent recommendations function within IBM Watson Assistant. So this little you'll find under the plus um, channel, the one step up from the light and free version. So often with intents, um, you've it's a guessing game adding um, examples to each and every intent if you don't have current conversations or current customer conversations so typically typically an intent is different intentions of the user and for each one of those you need at least 10 to 20 different example utterances um, <clears throat> and you need a good delta between what you expect your customer would say and what your customer will actually say so this feature helps you to um, receive recommendations uh, for intent. So I downloaded a data set called um, ATIS Airline Travel Information System. It's about 4,000 odd records within um, this data set. And um, if I open the CSV, categorized um, along a few basic intent, a flight distance, city, cheapest capacity. I just went for the um, flight time utterances and when I put them in a separate uh, sheet it's only 55 entries and this is the format of my CSV I will upload into what So back at Watson Assistant um, I've got different skills so I've created this standard customer care sample skill and typically you'll see here are my intents and if I click under cancel you'll see there are seven um, examples of, of how someone might cancel and I can add something like and add that as an example um, to my cancel intent so what I did was I went to recommendation sources and um, here you see I can connect to assistant logs um, also connect to live uh, a live assistant and I chose to upload my CSV file and with my 55 uh, messages in the in that in there it only took a few minutes to load and this gives me the possibility to um, go to intent recommendations and that 55 um, records really created these recommended intents um, so you can see that it grouped automatically those utterances for me um, along these um, not a ten, ten, ten groupings. So if we go on, uh, which is which list of flights, what is the schedule of flights? Um, what time is on a Wednesday? What time is the specific specific flight? So you can see, um, this is quite a, a smart way of how it grouped the different intents. And I can go to this one, this recommendation group. Um, and then you can see it typically refers to what time does uh, a flight um, depart from to um, and then if we decide to um, create a new intent um, and I call it test flight intent Test flight. If I create this intent, um,
So I've created my test flight in intent. And then I can go to my recommendations. Um, and I can choose this grouping of utterances. I can select them and, and say I would like to add this to an existing intent. And from here I can choose my test flight intent and add them. So this is just a very basic and short overview of um, the intent recommendation engine in Watson.